How do you get out of deep depression and take control of your life? Uh, yeah, I confess, Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong. I know now, if you're a person finding yourself in a very deep depressive state, uh, having a hard time getting out of it, I totally understand. I used to be in the exact same state that you guys were in. Back when I was like pre-20, 21 years of age, I was extremely depressed. I was overweight, I had long greasy hair, I had acne, I had no energy to go about chasing my dreams or even thinking that I could even achieve them. Now one of the big things that's really terrible about being in one of these deep depressive states is the lack of control or feeling of control of your life. I, I know exactly how this is because I used to be exactly in this. I used to feel like no matter what I would do that I could not possibly you know, make the next step or get in shape or make money or get girls. Something like this can be really difficult to pull yourself out of. Now, have you ever read one of these books about willpower? The two biggest killers of it are depression and anxiety, which if you're in a low place in your life is probably the two biggest emotions that you're currently feeling. So how did I get myself out of that state? To get myself chased by women, making a lot of money, being able to get to the point where I can chase my things and have an infinite amount of energy, have a lot of fun doing it, and have an extremely abundant life. And how can you do the same? What I started doing was, I took on one keystone habit. I took on one keystone habit, and I chased it until I got it down. Now, what is a keystone habit? A keystone habit is a habit that you can take on that multiplies. So if you develop one of these kind of habits, it'll multiply, you'll become better, and you'll even change who you think you are. You change who you think you are, you can become something different. Now, the one that I took on was working out. I started working out every day, which to begin with was actually a little bit hard on my body. Uh, it didn't help me grow at all, I didn't know that. It took me probably a year to realize I needed to kind of give myself some breaks to help get my body rest. But it was one of the biggest things that I started seeing results in myself and I started seeing that I could control my life. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take on a keystone habit, push it to the point where you start seeing results in your own life. And when you start seeing results, you start seeing like positive things going on in your life, you'll start changing who you think you are. When I started working out, I started seeing myself as fit. I started seeing myself as um, motivated. I started seeing myself getting past the point where others were. Um, and I started seeing that maybe if I could change this, I could change other things as well. I started changing my diet. I started sleeping better. Now, what are some other keystone habits that you may be able to take on? Here's a list of a few keystone habits. If you don't wanna work out, I mean, for me, working out was huge, but here's a few other ones that I think might help you as well. Uh, one, sleeping more. Sleeping more is a huge one, sleeping eight hours a night. Force yourself to sleep. If you can sleep more, you'll have more mental energy, you'll have more stamina in the day, your emotions will be more in control, uh, you will be less prone to depression and anxiety. Uh, another one is meditation. Meditation is really good for helping you control your emotions and teaching yourself unattached from your thoughts. All right, now another one, this one's very simple, changing your bed cleaning your room, cleaning your place, making sure it's clean every day. All right, now a lot of you guys are probably like, well, why am I gonna clean it if it's gonna just get messy at the end of the day? It's, it's not about that, it's about if your house is uncluttered, then in your, own, in your own mind, you'll start seeing yourself in a more positive way. You'll be like, I'm the guy who cleans my room, I'm the guy who cleans my house. I'm the guy that goes out and that's how my life is. I'm just a very strict, very process-oriented guy. And as you start seeing yourself as that guy, little things will start coming into place and it'll be easier to go after what you want. Okay, now another one is tracking what you eat. The food that goes in your body has a huge impact on, on your mental state, on your body, on your weight. If you start tracking what you eat, at first you may not start eating healthier, but you start noticing all the bad shit you're putting in your body. All the, the stuff that you could be putting in your body. Now with this self-understanding, you'll be able to go forth and start eating a little bit healthier. And once you do, you'll start losing weight, you start thinking more mentally clearly. All right, now this one's pretty big. This one was a big one for me. Eliminating self-negative talk. Now, something that I used to do was have a wristband on my wrist, snap myself every time I had a negative thought, and then a reframe with two positive thoughts. Negative self-talk is a huge killer when it comes to depression and anxiety and killing your energy. If you think yourself as the shit, it'll be a lot easier to push this character forward and go forth with your actions and finish the tasks you want to do throughout the day. And lastly, is create a daily planner. Create a daily planner, write down what you want to get throughout the day and start checking everything off. I do this, I love doing this, it's a huge one for me. Now to get out of depression, create keystone habit. Get one keystone habit, don't worry about anyone else, hammer it the fuck home, knock it the fuck out, all right, and now focus on it. What's gonna slowly do is gonna change who you think you are so you can start changing your actions. If you think you're something different, you'll start acting like something different. 
if you start working out and you start getting like more in shape, you start thinking of yourself as an in shape person, somebody who takes action. If you're somebody who does daily routines, it'll be easier to uh, think of yourself as like uh, Elliot Hulse type person or maybe like uh, Elon Musk. If you're uh, going forth and you're sleeping all day, you've got eight hours of sleep and you can fall asleep at the same time, you wake up at the same time, you're the kind of guy who wakes up at six in the fucking morning, that's the kind of person who thinks like a businessman. You're gonna start thinking like a businessman, it'll be easier for you to go forth and make more money. All right guys? That being said, peace out. Depression, self-defeating thoughts are the ultimate, ultimate luxury. That's a luxury. Now, if your life is shit, like that thought, no, no, dude, no. You don't have the luxury for that. I better see a smile on your fucking face. I better see you laughing. I better see you grounded, confident, and taking action. Nothing matters. Go. Because at the end of the day, I'm getting that result. That's coming. So if that's the case, if I know that that result is coming, there's not gonna be any time for that kind of thinking. You just fucking go. That being the case, you've gotta be honest about your life, where you're at, look at it, where you're trying to get to, what are you willing to sacrifice, how this is gonna play out, what's realistic, if keep fine tuning it until you get it, okay? What is real happiness to me? Not like billion dollars, global millions, blah, blah, no, shut the fuck up, okay? Just make a realistic game plan for what you're realistically gonna do. Let's look clearly at what your impediments are, what your obstacles are, and then we move forward, okay? So what is, what's your game plan of what you're gonna do to make the time to build something outside of the 40 hours a week that you have to work?